the worst high-speed train accident in the world to date took place here, near the village of Escherde in the Lower Saxony region of Germany. It involved an intercity express, or ICE train, named the Wilhelm Konrad Röntgen, which was travelling between Munich and Hamburg on the morning of the 3rd of June 1998. Having made a scheduled stop at Hanover, it was about six kilometres south of Escherde when a wheel ring broke and penetrated the floor of the first carriage. A passenger noticed the large piece of metal sticking up through the floor, but instead of pulling the emergency brake immediately, he alerted the train conductor. This was to prove a deadly decision. Although a later court case exonerated the conductor, who was following company policy by not stopping the train until he had witnessed the problem for himself. The train then passed a couple of track switches, but as it did so, the wheel rim hit the guide rail and dislodged it, causing it to also become embedded in the carriage floor. As the train derailed, the entire third carriage hit the supporting pillars of an overhead road bridge, which subsequently collapsed. The powerhead and first three carriages made it through more or less intact, finally coming to rest about three kilometres down the track at the Escherda train station. The driver, unaware of what had happened behind him, was informed of the accident by the station manager and went into such extreme shock he was unable to leave the powerhead for some hours. Still travelling at 200 kilometres an hour, the fourth carriage hurtled into the embankment, killing three railway workers instantly. As it did so, the collapsing bridge fell onto the rest of the train. Cars six and seven, the restaurant car, three first-class cars, and the rear locomotive all zigzagged into one another and the debris from the bridge. A car was found in the wreckage. It was believed that it belonged to the railway workers and had been parked on the bridge before the accident. Although most people in the front of the train were unharmed, the high speed on impact meant those travelling in the rear carriages had next to no chance of escaping unscathed. There were 287 passengers on the train that day. Including the three railway workers, 101 were killed and a further 88 were seriously injured. The investigation into the causes of the accident was conducted by the Fraunhofer Institute, an organisation that had voiced its concerns about metal wheel rim failure six years before the accident. It was also revealed that Hanover's Transit Authority had replaced its wheels and issued a warning about their design faults to other users, including the German Federal Railway. Several factors had been overlooked during their design. The design of the road overpass was also criticised and the replacement bridge was of a cantilevered design so that another collision wouldn't result in a complete collapse. It was also noted that rescue workers found it very difficult to get into the train and consequently, all German trains now have some windows with predetermined braking points. This is the North Sea, about 67 kilometres off the coast of Lincolnshire in England's northeast. It was the site of Britain's first ever offshore oil rig, the Sea Gem a 5,600-tonne steel barge converted into a rig by British Petroleum in 1964. It consisted of a helipad, living quarters for 34 workers and 10 steel legs that could raise the rig 15 metres above the ocean. On the 27th of December 1965, the Sea Gem collapsed as it was being lowered into the water in preparation for its move to another site about two nautical miles away. A subsequent public inquiry found that metal fatigue had caused two of the legs to crumple. One of the first things to fall off the platform was the radio hut, so workers were unable to signal for help. But fortunately, the Bell Rover, a British freight ship, witnessed the accident, sent out a distress signal, and began to coordinate the rescue of the surviving crew. The weather conditions were appalling, with a snowstorm and four-metre waves hampering rescuers' efforts. An RAF and civilian helicopter joined the search, but in all, 13 men lost their lives and five more were injured. <laughs> 